Hey, guess where I am today? I am in a very wet and windy and hailstony and snowy Falmouth at Ocean Race, at Ocean um, BMW, the motorhead place. And uh, today they've given us a bike. It's not registered yet, so I'm going out on trade plates. I'm just walking around the corner because there's a bit of shelter. Look at the weather there. It's horrific. I've got this little beauty. Look at this. This is the F800 GS Adventure. This particular bike has only got 15 miles on it. So it's uh, it's not done any riding. It's not, no one's been out on it. It's been on a rolling road apparently. But doesn't it look good? Looks absolutely gorgeous. Got a 23 litre tank. Uh, 875 ride height, 95 brake horsepower, and I love it already. So I'm going to go out for a ride and see what we think. Oh, look at the weather, it's awful. Initial impressions are it's very, very solid. <laughs> and that's all I've said so far, isn't it? What does that mean? Right, I'm just trying to work out all these bells and whistles. Okay, so we've got a very small uh, screen in front of us there. It's got wind deflectors. Uh, as, as you can see, the main screen is uh, adjustable. All the usual bells and whistles. Um, heated grips, SOS buttons. So this bike is fully specced up with everything. All the packages you can get, power points. I really wish BMW wouldn't have those little DIN power points because they're a pain in the neck. As everybody knows, I love the colour. 23 litre tank. So we're just going to go out for a ride around Falmouth and um, hopefully the rain might drop off a little bit and I'll be able to uh, see something out of this camera. I'll just make sure. So I apologise if I have to keep cleaning the uh, screen on the camera. But anyway, let's go. So this bike has done 15 miles as I said absolutely gorgeous I've been waiting to ride this for a long time it feels very very similar to uh, my adventure it's, it's got all the stuff you would expect this to have cruise control uh, it's got the menu with all the scroll functions on the screen the TFT screen My initial impression was when I sat on it, it was like really, really, um, really solid. Uh, the seat felt quite uncomfortable. Actually, I'm going to talk about buttock cuppage again because it was mentioned on another video that uh, Toby had done. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's obviously become a, a theme now. But this was, uh, this is very comfortable, the seat the jockey wheel that BMW have on it and all that kind of stuff it's a nice comfortable ride the um, suspension at the moment is set up for one rider and luggage so I'm just going to pull in here and just adjust the suspension so that it's set up for one person And I don't know if you can see down here, there's a little screen that tells you when it's done. Okay, as soon as I've done that, it's, uh, the suspension dropped a little bit. It's actually altered the, the way the bike rides quite a bit, actually. So typical BMW stuff on it, all the bells and whistles as I've said, and it's a really comfortable bike. I, I, I really like this and I think this might be a replacement for my uh, adventure when it goes for one of these types. comes in three different colour schemes, there's this one which is like um, German Battleship Grey, there's um, uh, one that has a, um, like a big red GS sign on the side of it. And uh, there's the blue and white colour scheme. The blue and white colour scheme looks really nice, but I actually quite like this one. The tank is uh, a centred tank, 
it's actually where the tank is on the old F800 um, adventures it was on in the rear underneath the rear seat and uh, they've put this back in the traditional place so this is keyless start now I never thought I'd get on with the keyless start when I first uh, tried it but it's uh, it's really quite nice actually the screen at the moment is as high as it goes I'm sure that you know if people are going to tour this there, there will be a, an aftermarket uh, screen that you can fit to it just to see if just so you can um, a little bit more protection but to be honest the shape of the tank is very much like the GS and the GS Adventure and um, you know it, you get quite a little bit of quite a lot of protection from this uh, the system we've got here the, the, the shape of the tank it's very bow, bowed out We're coming down through Falmouth I'm trying to keep out of the weather actually that's why I've come through here I wouldn't normally come through uh, the town centre so first impressions it's very smooth I've ridden the GS the 850 GS and that felt a little bit um, a bit rough if that's the best way to describe it um, rough in as much as it was um, it might be because it was only uh, a brand new bike and hadn't been running very much but anyway this one doesn't it feels very smooth now in the event of not being able to find any off-road stuff in this kind of weather and trying to be as safe as I possibly can there's that woman kidnapping that kid there um, I've come down through Falmouth Main Street which is cobbled just to see how the bike performs on not tarmac and um, as you would imagine it's not much of a test for it but it's a good test the riding position is very nice it's the same as I would say it's the same as my GS Adventure um, legs don't feel under any kind of pressure it's about 90 degrees the, the, the legs to the hips nice upright position it really does feel quite nice uh, we made a mistake by coming this way I think so anyway On the day you want to prove something you can't because of the weather and also roadworks in town. Bit of a nightmare. So the centre of Falmouth is now closed off. But look at the view, that's flushing in the distance sir. And there's the docks. So I put a little log in first gear, just doing about 10 miles an hour. And it's typical of a chain, I mean if you drive a shaft it's just very smooth in a shaft all the time chains sometimes feel a little bit jerky because of the cogs and the sprockets I suppose but this is uh, it's a very nice ride uh, the seat height as I said was 875 and now I've got it set down to uh, the suspension set to one passenger um, and it dropped a little bit I can now comfortably get both feet on the floor well that's not an issue I don't think to worry people around about you know you can as long as you can put one foot down you're pretty much okay I would have thought and nice wide handlebars on it this is fitted with fog lights automatic lights that come on obviously with the uh, the visibility drops down TFT screen has got all the stuff you would imagine it would have you can set it to can either have road dynamic enduro rain and I've got it set to road and as soon as it went to dynamic then when I was doing this it could feel the whole of the back change its position and that alters the throttle as well how the throttle moves but um, yeah so it's a very well put together bike you get on some bikes that are really cluttered and have loads of stuff all over them this one is uh, it's very uncluttered it's got nice clean lines standard BMW wing mirrors which you can see uh, plenty out of I've got lots of view I only see a little bit of my shoulder which is uh, fine sometimes it's um, you can see all you can see is your shoulder and do you know what I really like it I'll just give it a good old shake obviously it's very it dives on the front because it hasn't got the telelever suspension like um, uh, GS's have and things like that 
but it feels really nice. So, the good thing about this is also the BMW panniers, so imagine if you were trans uh, downsizing from a GS Adventure with the steel panniers, the BMW panniers will fit this rack, which is good for me if I was thinking of buying it, because I've got boom -op panniers and they will fit exactly the same as well, so that's a nice thing. So the exhaust is on the right hand side, same size as the GS, uh, GS and the GS Adventure. Nice hand guards, but they're, they're plastic hand guards. You notice this one is a bit wobbly, it's obviously not been tightened up properly yet. That's how new this bike is. You know sometimes when you sat on a bike and it's just ticking over, they're a bit throbby. This one is very, very smooth, so it's a twin cylinder engine. I think this is the same, it might be corrected here, but I think this is the same engine that's in the 900s. Uh, it's just been uptuned. Now when I first, they first brought out the 800, or probably about 2008, I really, really liked that bike, and I got to ride it when I was in Lebanon. I actually rode it around um, <laughs> Hezbollah firing range, which is another story. But uh, absolutely loved the bike. I just don't think BMW market them pr well enough. When they're up against this, because this is obviously up against um, an Africa Twin, although it's a lot less engine. It's only got a 95 horsepower um, on the engine. But it's, um, you know, they need to push it, I think, and they never do. It's just sort of like, oh, I've made one, there you go. Which is a shame, really, because this is a stunning bike. It's got the 21-inch front wheel. It's got the beak on it, like a GS has, but not not the same beak. It's just a, a similar sort of beak. Coming down over these cobbles here, which are quite rough. There's absolutely nothing at all. It's just nice and smooth. It feels very sure. The steering is very positive. I like it. Could I replace my GS Adventure with it? Do you know what I think I could? So I'll just hopefully get out of town now and get into some nice, nicer roads. So I'm in second gear, which is a nice easy gear for, um, for riding around the, the towns and things. Cruising along 30 miles an hour, 3,500 RPM, which is fantastic really, you know, it's not struggling. So currently it says uh, 199 mile range on the tank and it's just over three quarters, just under three quarters full. I think that's pretty good actually. You know, my, the GS and the GS Adventures and things, they have massive amounts of range in them. You know, I've, on tours I've had 400 miles out of my, my tank, obviously just poodling along. You know, 200 miles is ample, isn't it, before you need to get off and go to the toilet and have a coffee or something. So. For this to be doing this is great, I think. So switch gear in the normal places, it's the standard switch gear, you know, just to push in a, a pull like it is. It's got standard uh, headlights on it as well. And as a quick shifter which is really nice, that makes it very, very smooth. So the quick shifter, in case you don't know, is you need to pull the clutch in to go into first gear, and then every subsequent gear change up or down after that, until you get down to stopping again, you just need to uh, just press your foot down or up on the... Um, on, the uh, on the gear lever, and it makes the gear changes so smooth. Okay, let's ride over all the speed bumps and see how that feels. Nice big flat pedals, they've got rubber bungs on them uh, to protect, obviously you can take those bungs off if you're going off-road. But you know, these, this is handling these um, speed bumps really well. It's just sucking them up, hardly any movement on the bike at all. So, with regards to its off-road ability, I think this is going to have massive off-road ability, certainly for tracks and trails and things like that. More roadworks, can't believe it. When I was standing up there then, I mean the position for standing up on a bike when it's off-road, you know, slightly flexed knees and just leaning forward, that's a, it's, it's like an, all, an automatic 
um, not so automatic. It's like a, it's like a, a natural position to be standing on this, on this bike. So I don't think it'd be a, a problem to ride any trails with it or things like that. It's definitely an off-road bike because it's got 21-inch uh, tire. It's got Panicky threes on it. Sorry, Anarchy three tires on it, which can fit as standard. Um, personally, I wouldn't have them. Um, because I don't like them. I think they're brilliant in the dry, amazing in the dry. Once you get in a bit of water underneath them, they're always, they seem a bit loose for me. But you know, tyres are a Marmite subject, aren't they? You either love it or hate it. Fast at the moment, but quite often when you're riding the bike, you can feel the wind coming. I've had my visor up, but there's no wind coming over the top of the, the, um, the screen into your face. So maybe you don't need a bigger touring screen. Maybe this is enough, because if you look at the wind deflectors around the side there, they're quite big. So the test will be if I can get it up onto, uh, onto the top road here, and we can open it up a little bit, and just see what it feels like. Um, and I was asked a question before I came out, one of the uh, guys was saying, you know, you've got a 1200 at the moment, and you want to drop down to an 850, will that be okay for touring? Of course it will. We have um, one of our guides that works for Miguel and Motorcycle Tours, is a, a lady, Louisa, pretty special lady, is doing a um, world speed record uh, this year, attempt again, I think. Uh, she's got one of the 850 versions of it. She's been all over the place on it. So I don't think an 850 is a problem. I've had guys with 600cc bikes on tours, you know, with twos up, pillion on the back, and do you know what? It doesn't matter it really really doesn't matter you can ride anywhere on a bike you know maybe the speed is uh, is an issue for some people but you know I'm just poodling along anyway I don't necessarily race fast ride fast good solid brakes as soon as you're, you're applying them I mean I know it's a brand spanker of a bike so you know as soon as you're applying the brakes you would imagine they're working I do like it. <laughs> I really do like it. Up and down through the gearbox without any problem. Accelerates lovely. I would say this is a better bike than the 850 GS. And I don't know why, it just feels completely different. Now the, the other 850 I rode was the um, uh, just the, the standard GS version and it, like I said it felt a little bit rough this feels a lot more refined and the exhaust sounds wonderful there we go Mr gear then blue sky over there as well so you can flick up through the gears really nicely and it's so smooth you know you'd think with a 21 inch wheel at the front it would feel like slightly up at the front but it doesn't it seems to sit nice inside the frame and um, it's easy to flick around very sure footed even with these Anarchy 3 tyres on it, but you know. I really like this. It's not feeling laboured in any way. Um, and I think, you know, as a touring bike, this would be a, an awesome thing. Probably with a, a full tank, you'd be looking at, I don't know. Uh, 250 mile range, something like that. Nice place to park on a bend. Listen to that. 
it's such a willing beast I mean it wants to go all the time you can feel it just wants to go standard exhaust on this not a, an aftermarket one like some people put on their bikes straight away and do you know what I, I you know BMW have invested a lot of money in uh, in getting a good exhaust for their product I think this is probably acceptable but you know horses for courses everybody wants to put a different take to their bike nice brakes really nice brakes on it foot pegs are comfortable like I say I've been riding it just a little while now and it's foot pegs feel really comfortable I think as a long-term tour this would be ideal this comes with a three-year warranty which is a step up from what BMW normally offer they quite only quite often only offer two-year warranties and you have to buy an extended one uh, So the three year warranty is a bit of a step change I would have thought. This has the SA on it which is the uh, suspension package, electronic suspension and I'll be, I'll just tell you that my Adventure is now what 19 months old and had, it's got 34,000 miles on it. The, um, the suspension went on it um, a couple of weeks ago and BMW replaced it for me, thank you very much, but it was 1600 quid and it's probably one thing to consider if you're buying later on you see you see this bike for sale as a second hand bike you know you have to be really careful about what the bike has actually done been through I mean my bike hasn't been ha hammered in, by any stretch of the imagination it's just done quite a lot of miles um, but not relatively speaking for a BMW engine however 1600 quid is a fair chunk of change if you have to pay for a new electronic suspension so I would imagine that the BMW NAV uh, 6 sat -nav, uh, sat nav will fit somewhere here in the centre part of the bike. Uh, I actually don't like it on the on there where it's moving. I like to have it somewhere stationary up above. But I'm sure with time, all the modifications that come out uh, in the UK, there's a company called Nippy Normans who do all sorts of um, BMW stuff from different manufacturers, Wunderlich and Machine Art and that, and they'll have. Uh, probably something that will fit to a bracket like this come out here because it, it's I find it much better when it's up in front of you the, the sat nav so uh, yeah I would imagine if it's down here you've got quite a long way to look down actually but you know whatever it's got heated grips they were on when I got the bike when I pick, picked it up so the cruise control you can put the cruise control on about 30 miles an hour and it's, it's a pretty constant thing um, I've, I use my cruise control on my bike all the time it does, doesn't mind pulling down low down either uh, you know sort of slow speed up into fourth gear or something like that it's not a struggle for this bike the engine is quite a pokey engine isn't it obviously I don't know what it's top speed would be but I would imagine it'd be up quite high around the 100 mile an hour something like that but that's, that's immaterial as far as I'm concerned thing is would it pull on a motorway all day and I think this bike is more than capable of doing on doing that on a you know on a tour so nice got I keep going back to the seat but the seat I wasn't sure about it's actually very comfortable it's not as wide as some seats so you, you feel like your knees can hug the tank quite a lot and it takes everything in its stride I've got clutch uh, cruise control on here now on these nice bends 40 miles an hour it's loving it no problem whatsoever it's very stable we're very very well balanced and I can put, take my hands off quite comfortably and adjust the, the direction and that's something you shouldn't try at home kids But that's just to prove the how well balanced the bikes are. Sometimes you get on a bike and it tips to one side, and you know it, feel, it just feels like uncomfortable sometimes to ride. But um, this one is 
is very very stable very balanced very comfortable I like it I do like it so right I'm gonna stop waffling on now and just concentrate on the ride Give us a big thing, thumbs up, things up, thumbs up, and tell me you'll do that subscribing button thing, and we'll see you soon.